Macron calls Trump. Other leaders after meeting Lebanon's Hariri French President Emmanuel Macron spoke to his U.S. counterpart Donald Trump and other world leaders about the situation in the Middle East after meeting Lebanese Prime Minister Saad Hariri at the LSE Palace on Saturday. After Iran reacted angrily to Macron dubbing its policy in the region aggressive, the allies insisted there had been no break in contact between Paris and Tehran. Macron discussed ways to stabilize the region and establish peace in phone calls to Trump, Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman and UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, a presidential statement said Saturday. The White House announced that Trump and Macron agreed on the need to work with allies to counter Hezbollah's and Iran's destabilizing activities in the region. Hariri, a joint Saudi-Lebanese national who slammed Iran and Hezbollah when he announced his resignation in Riyadh on 4 November, did not confirm his resignation in his meeting with Macron, the allies he said, adding that this was not anomalous, given that he said he would be returning to Lebanon in the next few days. Nor was there cause for concern that two of Hariri's children remained in Saudi Arabia, according to the French presidency. They left them there because they felt it was desirable, the statement said. Dialogue with Iran-Iranian officials twice this week slammed Macron for criticizing the country's aggressive policy in the region and its uncontrolled ballistic program, in terms reminiscent of Saudi, Israeli and U.S. statements. The Allies' e statement insisted that we speak freely to Iran and that there had been no interruption in contacts with the country, with which a firm and demanding dialogue must be had. Macron has announced that he intends to visit Iran next year. France hopes to organize a meeting in Paris of the International Lebanon Support Group, which is made up of the members of the UN Security Council, the US, France, the UK, China and Russia, the European Union, Italy, Germany and the Arab League. The presidency is also closely following the case of 250 French nationals who say they are owned nearly 20 million euros in back pay and benefits by Saudi Auger, a construction company of which Hariri is the majority shareholder. The Saudis have promised to pay the money owing, the statement said.